Whilst consumers have been using devices powered by Google's two current operating systems, Chrome OS and Android, the company has been hard at work for the last few years on its next operating system, and it's now here. Get ready for Fuchsia. Google has been pretty quiet about the project. It initially leaked in 2016 after code was shared on GitHub, before Google issued a guide to run the OS on one of its Pixel books in 2018, and launched its official website in 2019. The OS is designed to work universally across devices, so think of it running on everything from phones to laptops to car dashboards, and beyond this to smart objects like traffic lights. Unlike Chrome OS and Android, Fuchsia is not built on the Linux kernel, instead using a completely different kernel called Zircon, which was originally conceived for low energy consumption on embedded devices. The OS launched yesterday, not with a fanfare or celebration as you might expect, but with a quiet update of a relatively low-key product. If you own a first-generation Nest Hub from 2018, then you are in luck, as this is the first device to get the new OS. It will be delivered by an over-the-air update, first to users in the preview program, then to all devices over the next few months. You likely won't notice the change, however, as the Nest Hub will look and work the same as it always has, just the engineering under the hood will have changed. This is possible due to the device's software having been written in Flutter. The less developers build applications that work across multiple platforms, including iOS, Android, and most importantly, Fuchsia. Beyond this, the software can run Android apps natively, and it looks like a lot of work has been done to make the OS change as seamless as possible. Google has acknowledged the software rollout is happening, but they don't seem to want to make a big deal of it. Their major developers conference, Google I.O., was last week, and would have been a prime opportunity to make a big announcement. It isn't clear what the next step for the OS will be. Could it appear on other smart home devices, other made-by-Google products, possibly even a phone or a Pixelbook? What do you think?